Welcome in beautiful travelers. My name is Marie at Indigo Earth here to do a reading for Capricorn, our earth signs Capricorn. You are ruled by Saturn, which is a planet of responsibility and structure. Your dual nature is to be diligent, but you can also be repressive. You are here to accomplish. Your divine nature is to use. You are the business people. The business people, all about the business, getting the job done. Welcome in cross watchers. You could be connected to or in a relationship with a Capricorn and you are here to find out what's going on with your person. Therefore, this message could also be for you as well. And time is fluid. So anytime this message drew you in was a time that you were meant to see it. You and I are working together. Our energies are working together to bring you the highest message for your soul evolution and growth and for the evolution and growth of the whole. So please use your discernment. Exercise your inner knowing. Build your intuition. Look for those intuitive hits. You will know that the message was meant for you. Take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. And I will have an extended at the end of this video. So if you wish to dive deeper into the message with me, these cards are really inflexible today. Um, the link will be below. And if you like the content being shared, please like and subscribe because that helps the channel grow and gets the messages to other people who may also need it as well. So thank you for that. Nice to have you here. Let's see where we go with you today, Capricorn. So your overall theme is Six of Swords and the King of Cups. Six of Swords is about moving away, taking a trip. Um, this could be looking to escape. This could be um, looking towards like a water sign to bail you out of something as well. And the King of Cups is all about, well, emotions. King of Cups is about emotions. You could be escaping your emotions because the King of Cups has a lot of emotions, but they don't know how to express it very well. And sometimes that's because of extreme insecurities or low self-confidence. So let's see where we go with this for you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Just invite you to take a breath with me and um, clear your mind, open up your heart space to receive the messages that's needed for you. For the good of the individual watching and for the highest atonement of the whole. All right, here we go, Cappies. Your overall energy, Four of Swords, healing, taking a break, taking a step back, reassessing a situation. Your situation is the Eight of Swords. Um, this has something to do maybe with self-sabotage. This has something to do with fears, anxieties, depression, um, feeling stuck, not being able to see a way out. Your opportunity is the Three of Wands, setting new intentions, new aspirations, finding another outlet, what the universe is co-creating with you or working on with you is three of swords. Since you have healing under the, for the energies, your energy is coming up in the energy. This is probably healing from some sort of pain. I'm going to get clarity on that. Energies that surround you that you may not be aware of, three of cups. Um, this could be finding your tribe, working with other like-minded people. This could be friendships. This could be family. Um, energies, how this will unfold. Queen of coins, taking care of yourself. Self-care, self-nurturing. Getting back grounded, getting back with nature. Connecting with things that help build you up. Um, help bring you into kind of a, a stable place in mind, body, and soul. Energies that are fading away is a six of coins. So something that had to do with um, balance, um, working with other people, um, working in community. Six of coins can also be about resources too. Has to do with something that's work or career related. It could. 
how you're showing up in this situation is a chariot moving forward, making a decision to move forward, trying to figure out your path. What's right in front of you that you need to contend with is a five of cups, sadness, grief, loneliness, pain. Um, cuff is half empty. This could be victim mentality as well. Your hopes and fears, the tower, something being dismantled, something just being done, no more. And your outcome is the devil, so some sort of attachment. That's Cap Capricorn energy showing up. You're showing up in your own reading. Um, some sort of attachment. This is excess. This is any like dependencies. This could be codependency. This could be um, energies maybe that surround that are surrounding you in your auric field that you need to like cut ties with. Usually this is about some sort of desperation or some sort of um, attachment that's toxic and not good for you. Yeah, we got 10 of coins next to it. This could be about money. This could be about career. This could be about resources or financial situations. This could be about material, like very attached to things. So we'll get some clarity on that. So let's see where we go with this. Can you please clarify the Eight of Swords, please? The Eight of Swords. That is your situation. Thoughts, self-sabotaging thoughts. Keeping yourself in bondage. Illusions. We got the Sun. We got the Knight of Swords. So this could be lust. Something that has to do with passion. And we got the Magician and Manipulation. So either you could have been manipulated or somebody could have manipulated you, somebody that came in very strong, um, kind of swept you off your feet. Because the King of Swords is somebody who is like um, very charismatic, but they're only in it, a situation, if it benefits them. And there was some sort of illusion that was presented, some sort of illusion that was presented and you were manipulated. Or you could have manipulated somebody else. And you may be feeling remorse and regret about that. Or you may be milling over that in your head. Or you may be feeling sad or shame about it. So let's see what the Three of Wands is. That's your opportunity. Time to set new intentions into the universe. We've got judgment. Getting clear. Reconsideration. Reevaluation. Kind of taking a look at your life. Reevaluating. This is also um, a karmic soulmate card. We got Ten of Swords with that. Ten of Swords is the ending of a karmic cycle, but Ten of Swords is also about exhaustion, giving up. And we got the Seven of Swords. So there's been some kind of deception. There's been some kind of deception that has caused a lot of pain. Um, because the Seven of Swords is about being sneaking and conniving, lying and cheating. And the Ten of Swords, this too is also an addiction card. So this could be mental illness. This could be um, this could be narcissistic tendencies. This could be um, bipolar. This could be um, coming to the end of your rope, having enough. Exhausted, done, got the t-shirt, not going back. Um, and really taking a look at maybe what happened and kind of like reevaluating the situation, trying to see it from a higher perspective, maybe coming to an understanding or a clarity about it. <clears throat> Let's see what the Three of Swords is for you. So this could actually be moving away from a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or leaving behind. Could be. Maybe somebody who um, had an attachment to materialism came in you for resources or you came in for their resources. You got another 10, 10 of wands. <clears throat> so this is about 
something burdensome, burden, burdensome, something very burdensome. The universe is trying to help you release this, trying to help you heal from this. Something that was heavy, dense, dark energy caused a lot of pain. Yeah, Eight of Wands. It was very fast moving energy. Seemed to be more talking than there was producing. Give me one more on this, please. Two of coins, indecision. Time to make a decision. Two of pentacles is about um, juggling. It can also be about um, having to make a decision. It can also be about change. So having to, having to, this could be about juggling, juggling something, but having to make a change. Let's see what the queen of coins is for you or the queen of Pen uh, pentacles, self care, getting back in touch with self, getting back in touch with nature because your overall energy is healing healing from something. It looks like heartbreak. It looks like deception. It looks like pain. It looks like you're taking on a lot of guilt, taking on a lot of shame from this. This eight of wands too is also about movement, moving away, moving away from something. It's communication, um, but it's making a decision to like that's fast moving energy. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please. Got the Queen of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Swords and the Four of Wands. There could be more than one person involved here because um, we got fire energy showing up and earth energy as well. Um, could have had a commitment with somebody and you learned some truth, some truth came through or you got a message or some clarity came through about something. Um, yeah, because you got the three of cups down here, energies that surround you that you might not be aware of. And that's third-party situations. <clears throat> and third-party situations doesn't necessarily have to mean it's another person. It could be energies because the Queen of Wands is very self-righteous, um, egotistical, kind of like all about the fantasy. Um, so it could be those types of energies, um, but it could be another person as well. But you do have the devil here. So there's some sort of attachment. Maybe it could be to lust. It could be to gambling. Um, but a commitment was made. A commitment was definitely made. This could have been a marriage. That could be why the Six of Pentacles is energies that are um, fading away. Like equal give and take. So let's see, you've got the chariot showing up here in your, I'm going to use another deck. You got the chariot showing up in um, how you're showing up in the situation. So that's movement. Making a clear decision on what road to take or what road to go down. What path to follow. So clarify please for Capricorn, the chariot. Some kind of illusion was presented that didn't have the best intentions behind it. Because the magician can be very tricky. They were trick tricksters. Got the Queen of Pentacles again. So self-care. 
we got the seven of wands setting your boundaries and we got the lovers so setting your boundaries in a relationship taking care of yourself setting boundaries in a relationship moving forward and um making a decision to move forward that's how you're showing up and what's right in front of you is a five of cups sadness grief loss in the extended, I'm going to get more clarity on what the um, outcome is with the devil and the ten of coins. And then I'm going to look at fire energy and earth energy in the extended, their intentions, as well as tendencies that need to be released and actions and advice for you. <clears throat> so what is this five of cups? Please clarify the five of cups. It's definitely been a tower moment. <clears throat> Tower moment means it's happening now. Something's being dismantled, eradicated, wiped away, over, done. Got the t-shirt. We got the moon, secret, something being hidden. I saw the four of swords in here again come up. Yeah, healing from something being hidden. Something was hidden. Some Something was not, um, there were secrets. And I got healing from that with the five of cups. So some kind of truth came out about something. Probably had to do with the commitment. Reevaluating, re reassessing the situation. Um... Having to set boundaries, having to take care of yourself. Yep, justice. So that's that push-pull energy, cause and effect, runner-chaser, which is very classical of the the um, the Knight of Swords or the. Um, hold on. Where did I see him? could be or the queen of pentacles um this is cause and effect this is also kind of karmic this could be a karmic relationship this is also a twin flame card as well yeah page of swords um message of truth coming through with a message of truth page of swords is all about us and authenticity truth clarity understanding cutting through the bullshit So setting boundaries probably means that you're moving away from maybe what you thought was supposed to be your ideal partner. Um, there's been some kind of truth revealed about something that had to do with a third party, whether it's another person or <clears throat> it's some sort of attachment, could be gambling, could be workaholic, could be anything that takes away from the relationship. Um, you're going through a healing process right now. There's a lot to unpack here. There's a lot of pain in this. There's a lot of sadness and there's a lot of grief. This could have been a marriage that, that might be um, dissolved or dissolving. Um, and there's decisions that need to be made. The universe is, is trying to help you with that, communicating that. But the universe is also trying to help you unpack this baggage. Release the burden. So I am going to get a message from... The journey of love for you, Oracle deck. For those of you going on to the extended, the link is below. You were the first one out of the gate there. For those of you not going on, I'm going to get a message to you from the universe. Message for Capricorn, please. Message for Capricorn, please. Message for Capricorn, please. Love, peace, justice, hope. Messages for Cappies. One card, please. One card.
the space between the, the words, the spaces between the words. Number 24. <clears throat> Pretty healing colors in here. When we look for guidance, we often look for words that clarify, reassure, and help us find our authentic path through the chaos. Yet there is also guidance in the spaces between the words, between each letter, between all the happenings in our lives. Where there is nothing to be said, where there are no lines to be colored in, where there is just openness, those are the times when we need to freestyle. We need to do or not do based on what is happening for us in the moment. Often, there is far less to do than we think. Often, we don't need to think. There is a space forming around you now. Sometimes, when we sense this subconsciously, we feel exhilarated and excited, anxious and nervous, and not even sure why. There is a sense, perhaps, that we wouldn't mind having a map of this unknown terrain, or perhaps we are happy to wing it and make it up as we go. Either way, there is space to just be. It is a receiver for the divine. It is a receiver for the divine presence. If you have a lot of space of unknowing around you now or within you, then just know that there is a lot of divine presence to be received. It can't be explained, really. It just happens. You're between worlds, and yet without it, there wouldn't be any words, any guidance at all. This oracle speaks to you. Enter the space and let it go. For your time to receive is upon you. Be blessed. So Capricorn, I hope that helped. Um, for those of you going on, the link is below. If not, until next time, I wish you peace that passes all understanding. Bye-bye.